In this fresh test video tutorial for beginners, I'm going to show you how you can edit the SLA policies for each ticket that you have in fresh test. So the SLA policies is just means that like a turnaround time uh, for each fresh test ticket, how soon your uh, agents in fresh test, they need to uh, reply to the tickets and resolve the ticket for our clients. Okay. So in order to go to this SLA policies in fresh test, I want you to go guys to hover over to this geared admin button in fresh test menu click on it and then go over to something called workflows and you will see SLA policies in fresh test here and click on it. So you can add different policies and you can reorder policies. So let's just start with editing one policy to explain to you guys what it means. Okay. Give the policies in fresh test a name. And then you can be like, if a, these ticket belong to a certain group, belong to customer support, belong to technical, uh, they would have different types of priority you have like a low medium high and urgent priority for different fresh test ticket and you can adjust it through the first response time which means when there's a ticket created in your fresh test when your client first email you the first response that the fresh test agent they need to reply they need to reply within five hours otherwise it will be out of the SLA policy, which is a service level agreement, because when it is being out of the service level agreement, um, the fresh test can actually send a reminder. You can set up the reminder to make sure that the agents are being notified via their emails so that they know uh, about approaching the due time. Okay, you can even have like a SLA violation notification. You can set up the escalation rules to notify the agents or the managers that certain agents are not performing in fresh test. So this is especially useful because the SLA reminders will inform the managers that certain agents are not performing and that's where they, you can do some other uh, violation emails. So remember this, the violation emails can be configured in the admin email notification. Same thing as a SLA reminder in the email notification. So let's come back to here. You may want to classify your tickets uh, how soon you are expecting your agents to reply to your clients to reply to the fresh ticket with tint a the low like this one for low five hour which means if you receive the tickets at 12 p.m you're expecting your uh, agents to reply before 5 p.m okay otherwise they'll be in violation of the sla which means a notification will be sent over to the managers as well as to the agent okay then every response that a client come in they you can set a time as well and how soon it must be resolved this is a resolution time so for the time that the tickets enter into system this means that the urgent ticket you're expecting that the ticket created at 12 p.m it must be resolved by 2 p.m otherwise it will be in violation of the sla policy which is awesome right so uh, it will only count the operation time and the hours according to the operation hour, which is the business hours that you're setting. Okay. So if let's say you're setting your business hour from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. So if the ticket come in at only night time, like everyone has sleep at 9 p.m., which is outside of business hour, it is not considered as a violation. Okay. So uh, this is to tick whether you want to have an escalation to be notified. So you may want to set reminders like remind agents when SLA due time approaches. You can add new reminders like when a first response target approaches in 30 minutes, two hours, one hours, you want to send reminders to assign agent. And then if let's say you want to send also send a escalation to when the SLA is violation is that you want to send escalation not only to the assigned agent, but also to the manager as well, to the supervisor as well. That you can, that, that's where you can add in the supervisor email or the manager's email. So this can help you a lot uh, in order to reduce the tickets uh, to be in violation of SLA. So I would recommend you to set this up and this is very, very super important and it helps your agents to keep track that they are doing their work because if an, a specific agent, they are constantly in violation of the SLA policy that you set in fresh test, but other agents are performing, which means the particular agent is not performing. Okay. So, uh, I hope that this uh, video tutorial helped you guys in setting the SLA policies in fresh test. If you have not signed up the free trial, you can sign up at my link. I put it over here and you sign up this fresh test under my referral link. You're able to get support from me and you can, um, get support from me through, uh, my Facebook, which is facebook.com slash Junlo story. And if let's say you like uh, to use a lot of automation software, you like to follow me, you can go and check out my website, junlo.co slash all software. 
so that I actually show you guys what other automation software we are using in our business to save time and to help you to save time and become more efficient as well. So I'll see you in the next video then. Take care.